Stepin is a new innovation in crypto. It is starting its own system where you can move to earn. Now, how does this work? You buy NFTs. They're quite expensive at the moment, but they should come down a bit. You can breathe them to help other people play the game and for you to play the game even more often. You play for a certain amount of time in a day and you earn cryptocurrency. It seems very simple, but they have some great systems in place so that it doesn't expand too quickly and blow up like many other crypto games in the space right now. So it is doing some very interesting things and I'm very excited to see where it goes. But what you guys wanna to know today is how to get an activation code. Now there are two main ways I know about. So firstly, let's just have a quick look at the website. So Stepin is pretty cool. The first two steps you would wanna do, and I can only really do these on the phone, but you would wanna to go to the Google Play Store or the App Store and download the Stepin app. It's just S-T-E-P-M, that is it. Okay, you download the app, you put in your email, and it will send you a verification code to that email. You will then plug in that verification code, and the next step you will get up to is it wants you to do an authentication code. I believe that's what it's called. Activation code, there you go. It wants you to do an activation code. Now, firstly, we do need to briefly talk about why this is. This is to gate the amount of people entering the ecosystem every day so that 5 million people don't enter, flood the market and destroy the token, okay? It's pretty much like that. It's so they can add functionality things down the road and it doesn't blow up out of control. In a similar way to Fancy Birds, it limits its breeding. But this is even more on an extreme basis. The big thing here is that people that own runners can distribute activation codes and the company, Stepin, also distributes 1,000 codes a day. This is really not much, so it's highly competitive and this might take you a while to get, but these are the two ways you can do it. The first one is to go on Twitter, okay? And you wanna to go to the Explore tab over the left here, go to the top and type in Stepin or Stepin code or something. Pretty much anything with the word Stepin in it will work. Search for that and hit the latest tab. And then all you wanna do is you wanna refresh every now and then and people will post codes just like this one one minute ago. Personally, I believe that less people are looking at Twitter and more people are looking at the Discord. So if you're patient and you're gonna refresh this a lot, that is gonna be your better chance at getting a code. But they do not pop up too often. So I hate to tell you guys that, they don't pop up too often, so be wary of that. The main method you should be doing is you go into the step in Discord. I'm gonna drop this down a little bit so you guys can see it. There you go. You just jump into the step in Discord and you'll need to verify. So you'll need to do a capture and everything. Just go through that process. It lays out the instructions pretty clearly. Then you wanna jump over the left here and um, in the group chat section close to the top, you've got a section called activation codes. Now every few minutes, it hasn't been a while for this one, which is surprising, but it's usually every minute or two, someone will post an activation code, whether that's someone that owns the NFTs and has done the daily challenges and whatever it takes, or a team member. And the team members will release 1,000 a day and they release it here, okay? So you wanna be in this Discord and watching this as often as you can. Now, a few tips. Firstly, you do not wanna use Discord on your phone. You wanna have the screen for the codes to pop up and your phone to enter the code separate. Otherwise you are not going to be fast enough. The second thing is try your best to remember the whole code in one hit and even touch type if you can on the phone. I cannot currently, so I'm having a bit of trouble, but if you can touch type, you'll have a much better shot. The other thing you should know is when someone new is typing in a cone code, you'll get the little three dots that'll pop up that'll say someone is typing that's when you gotta be really ready for it and ready to press all the buttons. Sadly, there's no specific number at the front or back that's always the same and things like that. You're just gonna to have to hope for the best and type it out. Um, the best way to do it is to look and type at the same time, but I know it's tricky. Be a little bit patient. There will be periods in the day when people are less active, but at the moment, demand is extremely high. And that is why these NFTs are so valuable. Stepin is trying something new. It's the first in the space to do this, and it's really interesting. So I'm eager to see where it heads in the future. It's a pretty cool project. If you guys want to see more information about Stepin, leave a comment down below if you want me to cover this project more. I'm looking to cover projects here and there. I'm still focused in Alluvium, but if you guys like this sort of comment, content, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like the video. As always, this is not financial advice, and I'll see you guys later.